Hi there, this is Dr. John Whitcomb for News and Nutrition, talking about how does saturated fat cause trouble and wreak its wrath on you? You have to understand fats, for starters. Saturated fat is a fat where every carbon molecule is completely full of hydrogen bonds. It becomes a straight molecule, like a pencil. You can pack a box full of pencils and they pack tightly. So saturated fat packs tightly. And that doesn't flow. So beef suet at room temperature is a solid. Bacon is semi-solid. That's saturated fat. When you desaturate a chemical bond, the molecule of saturated fat that's straight when you desaturate it and take one carbon to carbon bond, two carbons next to each other, and make a double bond between them, the whole molecule gets a 30 degree bend. That makes it bent. If you take a box full of bent molecules, like coat hangers, you can't pack them tightly. And that makes them more fluid. So olive oil has one double bond and is liquid at room temperature. Fish oil, omega-3 fatty acids, have five double bonds, and they are virtually a spiral. Five double bonds that go in a, almost a circle makes them extremely fluid. That's incredibly valuable because it allows your brain to have very liquid membranes so the proteins that are embedded in them can operate extremely quickly. Also makes your brain very vulnerable so you get a bonk on the head and you get a concussion because you disrupt much of your brain because those liquid, those liquid membranes shatter, and break, tear. That's why it takes months to heal from a concussion. Okay, so grass-raised animals, what we ate, ate through most of human history, their fat was mostly omega-3 fatty acids, and they didn't have much of it. But if you take a corn and bean-fed animal, never in human history did animals eat corn and beans until just the last hundred years, when we found out we could fatten them up very quickly for market and get paid more because they put on so much weight. We got sold cows by the pound. They get lovely marbled meat, and that meat is full of delicious fat, so it tastes yummy. But it's all saturated fat. Now, saturated fat does more than just fill up all your organs. When you go to a feedlot, otherwise known as a donut shop, and eat donuts or ice cream or any other form of sugar and concentrated carbohydrates, you too will make saturated fat because you're getting caught you're getting calories delivered too quickly to your metabolic system. And you're in a panic, your body produces saturated fats because it can't do anything else. It doesn't have time to make omega fats. Mm -hmm. But there's something else more unique that happens. Saturated fat sets off inflammation. Mm. What is it that sets off inflammation? Well, first of all, we know that the, set, the lipopolysaccharides in your food, in your gut, actually turn off inflammation going through and coming out into your blood. So there's lipopolysaccharides that get in your blood, and that starts inflammation at one point. But there's something more unique. There's now a biochemical pathway that's better understood. Researchers at Arizona found that saturated fat activates the innate immune system with a novel pathway that requires the metabolism of fat to something called ceramide, which is a family of fats, and it activate, activates the PKCV gamma mitogen activated protein kinases. Whew. Do you get all that? That's more than I could remember. That's part of your innate immune system. It's deep down in your core immune system, but there's a potent amplification of monocyte macrophage immune response through saturated fat. And it works through ceramides. That's all we need to know. We just need to know that saturated fat makes us inflamed. What will work for me? Bummer. 
I like bacon. Saturated fat is delicious. We need to be aware, though, that it is harmful for us. And for those of us who are trying to do a keto diet and saying we need to eat more fat, have to recognize that the fat we should be getting is omega-3 fatty acids, that liquid stuff that's so valuable. So become a deer hunter and find your own deer. Short of that, get grass-raised cows where they're finished on grass, not finished for two, three weeks on beans. And you can look at the meat. The meat has marbling and fat in it. It ain't finished on fa- grass. Or by ocean-caught fish. Otherwise, we have to deal with the inflammation. One way you can cut down the inflammation is certainly losing weight. And in my humble opinion, the damage of being overweight is more dangerous for you than the damage of eating saturated fat. So if you're going to do a keto diet for a couple months, eating lots of bacon, and you can lose 15 pounds, that's better for you than being overweight. So lose the weight. But try to eat as much ocean-caught fish, grass-raised animals as you can. Dr. John Whitcomb for News and Nutrition.